Hey guys, welcome to Boxer Gaming and today I'll be showing you how to make a door with a combination lock. Now the first thing I should um, mention when saying this is that this door does not have a separate reset button and it does not have a separate open and close button. So this makes the door a lot more um, easy to use I would say and also a bit more um, a bit more reliable in SMP. So the second thing I, sh I should mention is that this is not my own design. I, um, I have seen this before in other videos, but I have never seen it explained properly. So I was actually looking at videos for a while now and I could never really find out exactly what I should do. And more importantly, why I should do certain things. So that is sort of my goal in this video and I'll just show you how it works fast if I can remember my code. So I have five buttons here I and mean, this is expandable. So if you wanted to have uh, a six button or a seven or an eight or whatever you can do that very easily um, you also don't need to have the buttons in a row like this you can have them in all the patterns you would like so I think my code was two three two five one apparently not <laughs> ah there we go I didn't press the one so that's open and as you can see it doesn't close so we would have another button here maybe or somewhere here or even a pressure pad <coughs> to close the door and even open the door from the inside so the way this works is something I'll I'll probably better explain to you whilst I'm making it because it just looks like a whole bunch of redstone at the moment but it's actually very easy to make so let's start off and first of all we want to make the wall with our buttons so how many buttons do we want? Let's make for this tutorial, let's make four. So that's only gonna be this much. Yep. So just move those, put some buttons on the wall, put some signs up. Oh. I always hate that you can't press enter. <laughs> there we go. Now the first deviation I usually make from other designs is that I start this whole row with one up just because it makes it a lot easier for the reset later on. So we put um, torches behind it and then we add this and we add the first set of repeaters like so and they all stay on one and before those repeaters we dig an extra hole so it's too deep and behind that we do another row out and we stay there. We add repeaters on there as well. And we add another row. And basically you make as many rows as you have buttons. So because we have only four buttons at the moment, we only make four rows of these. So that would be the third one. And the next. Four. And the last one also needs to have a hole, but it doesn't have to have the next row. So that's the start. Now the next thing we should think about is, let's see, putting some blocks on top of this. So I can just do that easily like this. This is wool by the way, but you can use anything you want as long as it's not glowstone or um, glass. So what this does is it just makes sure that this repeater actually goes through this block into this repeater right here. So we do this on all of them, all the rows, like so. And on that one, and then the last as well. All right, so that's our basic thing. Now what we do is we add torches to every single wall block or whatever block you have here. And they should all be turned off automatically because the repeaters give power to the wall blocks. And these torches, I'll explain their use later on. They will make sure that if someone enters a wrong code, it will get reset to the start, but I will explain how that works later on. So now that we have this, and I'm actually going to remove this, I don't think we need the signs, it's very easy. We need to figure out the passcode. So I'm going to make it three, four, one, two. Let's do that. So threes are gonna be our first letter, and this is button three. And you can see the torches lighting up in a row there. So three is going to be our first digit, and this is the first digit this row will hear. So what we do is we knock the block off here, the t 
torch off here for the third is we remove the wall and we place a block there then we replace the wall but not the torch actually before you remove the um, wall it's probably easy to put the redstone like so and just make it all that side to the left you can make it all to the right it actually makes no difference so you replace the wall now a second one is I've already forgotten so what did I say three two one four yeah let's sit down so number two remove that replace the block in the bottom put redstone on that and we move it that side already and we replace the wall <coughs> so three two one so that's the next one and we place a block there and some redstone on it put the wall back so three to one and then four and that's going to be the last one nice and easy like so and we put redstone on it and all the way here and we put the wall back and then you just need to make another hole here and basically what this does is that when the repeater up there powers this block it will power this redstone here but when the repeater hits this block it will not power that redstone because it's two blocks below it so that's the reason we do this so there we go and we can lead it out as well already that's easier so now we can already see that our first digit was three so that one goes off second it used two so the second row of redstone goes off one the third one goes off and four and the last one goes off so that's the basics of this so that's very simple and i think this is very common i haven't seen it done um in a different way actually so yeah so then we start off like so put a torch in there and we go a bit further and i think we will need four and then on the end of that it's going to be a torch like this and right opposite that two wooden blocks and a torch there we put a repeater here wooden block here redstone there and it's easier if you put this torch as last because then it will be off and it needs to be off <coughs> so this pattern we're going to repeat for each one of them um, but it's titled no I'll just do more four because it's very fast so how does this work well as soon as this you press the right digit on the first lane it'll this will get unpowered which means that this torch will be powered so this redstone will be powered which turns this torch off so this will be off and this torch will be on and this torch needs to be on so there you go and if you have noticed this is a RS uh, NOR latch just vertical instead of horizontal so in my last video I did a horizontal one this is a vertical one which works exactly the same way so yeah let's um, hook up the next one as well now for the next one you you want them to be oh not a torch you want them to be uneven so this one will be here and this one can be there again and this one will be here again so let's just leave that for now like this so after that we're gonna go like that and we're going to put a torch in there as well put that there put the torch in the wall that again and y y obviously you can make this faster because you would just do it on a row but this I think this would explain it to you guys better so put the torch there that's off as well now perfect so let's test it out very quickly so if I press our first number which was number f which was torch free you can see that that's now on so perfect so let's remove that there we go now what we haven't done yet is that when you press the second one so our second torch should be lit if I press this button as the second but if I touch it at, as first it will still be lit so that's the first thing we need to remedy and here I guess comes the confusion for most people so what you do is you add this here you add a block there you add a torch there and since 1.1 you actually need to dig down here I think that's the easiest way of doing it you put redstone there then on the level with this torch you want a not a redstone and then a repeater to power that block of redstone as you can see this connects so that's why we need to add another block there and now this won't be connected anymore now that is all that's needed 
to make it so that let's unpower this torch if I press 2 first it will not light that torch anymore if I press 3 first it will light the first one as it should and then the second and it will not light the second torch and that's because I did not put that this <laughs> redstone here it always happens isn't it so this is basically by the way if you haven't noticed this is an AND gate so this torch will only go on if this torch is also on so let's see now we press 2 and there we go and this pattern we just repeat the entire time so let's do that quickly so we pull this up to here we pull that up to there and just like there we put the block right there put a torch there and a torch there and the repeaters go right in front of it we have blocks up there and one there there and there and we make the RS North latch here put torches there oh not that redstone on top, redstone on top don't forget to put the redstone here and I made it yep that's all good and we put a torch on the ends here as well like always put redstone there put redstone there and yep so let's see now we need to make these things like same as here so at the level of this torch we want a redstone dust and we dig down we put redstone dust in the bottom there and a repeater there and you can just put dust here and the same you actually don't need to put this block here because it's this will not connect to this repeater so we go down here as well on level with that torch we put this here put a repeater there dust there and you can see that these two connect so we don't want that let's block that off block that off thank you so like so and let us just reset this no there we go reset that and you you won't need to do this for much longer <laughs> reset that and that's already off so let's see if i've got anything three that works two works one works four works as well perfect so if we reset them like so let's see what happens if we press well one first for example won't do anything four won't do anything either now that's because when it presses four it will come here and it will give signal back to here to this torch here but because this AND gate is not met because this torch is not lit yet this torch won't go on either so that's why this works so oh, you have to go through all these AND gates so you have to press this number first because else this one can't go on and because this one is not on this can't go on and so on um, so that is the basics are done already and the only thing left is the reset so I'd, before I do that and make this look a bit more complicated than it, than it actually is let's just look at expanding it so if we had another row or another button all you'd have to do is, is add one row here and add one row in the bottom here as well and just repeat this exact same process as you did here nothing else you have to add so it's very very simple to expand so let's make the reset so the reset is um, very simple it's pretty much the same as in my horizontal iris nor latch example so all you have to do is let's see if I can remember <laughs> let's actually have a look here yep I do remember so you're going to have this put redstone on top and then you're going to go up not like that like that and you put a torch there that will power this so the reset is off yep and all you do is you go all the way over these torches and this is why I like to start oh, this is why I like to start one higher here it's just because you don't you, you can you get at this right level for this 
because else what you have to do is you have to add repeaters on top of this because if this is one lower it'll actually get powered by these torches so I think this is a lot cleaner and a lot nicer to look at actually so all you do is add redstone all the way along the, the side and you just do the exact same on this side let's see like so can be a bit tedious but yeah <laughs> Yeah. my mouse has been playing up so badly I think it's my mouse mat actually it just seems to randomly um, shoot from one side of the screen to the other so maybe in my video sometimes you suddenly see me looking at the floor <laughs> it's not actually because I'm re retarded or anything it's just my mouse mat being um, annoying so we do the exact same thing we put torches there which is there and we wire it all up with redstone <coughs> and that will be the complete thing finished let's test that out so all the torches are off yep so let's test it so three was the first so the first torch goes on two was the second which makes that torch go on and it does not matter that this torch goes off because we're just moving through them one was the next so that goes on four is the last and that goes on perfect so what happens for example if I go with a wrong number so I press three so the first one is on instead of two I'll press one and it'll go off now the reason this happens is because every time the digit is not correct so one should not be in the first line so that's what this torch is for so as soon as you press one the torch lights up activates this redstone deactivates um, this torch which activates this torch and it deactivates this redstone which activates this for a short time and it pretty much just recycles it so it'll turn it off again so that is it um, I have to show you where the output is so the output comes from this torch here so make sure you put a block here because else if you put just redstone here you'll actually get it from this which is not what you want so put a block there and that's your output and you can hook this up to anything you want or light <laughs> I mean you can have a combination lock light I guess or a door which is a bit more um, standard I guess so let's um, have a look at the reset and yeah I think the reason is quite obvious why we don't need a hard reset if you do want a hard reset it's fairly simple you would just get a button and hook it up to all of these torches so you could do something like that for example easy enough and you would wire all these back to a button so that's easy enough and you know you could use this as well um, to close it afterwards and reset all these torches I guess and the good thing about this um, in comparison to my simple door lock which is all the way in the distance there is that if you press your code like so no one will ever know what you have guessed there in comparison with the levers where they all stay so yeah that's um, the short well not really short but the, the tutorial for the um, combination lock and as I was saying, you can expand this very easily, so just add another button here. Add a block here, block here, block here, block here, and there. Big holes there. Like so. Put some wool there. Put some repeaters there. I might as well add a number whilst we're at it. It's very simple, and you can see how easily this is expandable. And let's fly a little bit and add that as well and I'm actually not sure if I need a repeater now but let's see and let's see the last number that we want for our lock could be so it's three two one four five I guess so let's make that five so not here not here not here not here and I forgot that we need an extra line here as well now easy as that holes in the front 
and woolen top and we put repeaters like so and we put repeaters there already and we want torches everywhere except for here because the last number is going to be five so again put a dirt block there wool over it Redstone goes all the way to the side. Comes out here, and because this is a repeater, we don't need a repeater here, so we put wood there. We just remove the output for a sec. Like so. Put a torch here. Put the AND gate here. Torch there. Redstone on top of it. And exactly the same on this side, like so. Redstone dust, repeater, torch there, make a hole, and it has to be aligned with this torch. Yep. So easy enough. There we go. And then all we have to do is make the reset as well. If someone enters the last digit incorrectly. So we do that by just adding another one of these. And we put that out. Put some redstone on top. And if I did not forget anything, which I really hope I didn't, <laughs> then it should now work. So let's reset it first. So let's just press 2. Let's hold the torture off. So the combination is 3. Two, one, four, and five. And there we go. So that's how easy it is to make and how easy it is to expand. And yes, it will take more space as you go. Um, you know, that can't be helped. I haven't seen a design that um, fixes that in an elegant manner, in, in a manner that you can easily expand. I do think you can probably make this a lot smaller. You might be able to shave off a block here. But I'll leave that for you guys to find out. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.